In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, Cardinal Leger Lancers. Uh, this morning, I would like to talk uh, about an animal, an animal that we don't see too often here in North America, especially uh, in Brampton or Toronto. I'd like to talk about an animal that really is one of the untold heroes of this day. Today is the uh, solemnity of the Epiphany. When the three wise men came, the three kings, they came and they adored and worshipped Jesus. And I'd like to talk about camels because uh, camels are uh, uh, beasts of burden. Camels are very important animals. And in the time of Jesus, they would have been very important in the Middle East. We know that the three kings came with gifts. And yesterday I spoke about the gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Uh, frankincense and myrrh wouldn't have been too heavy, but the gold, uh, they would have had to have transportation in order to get from uh, the east, where they came from, to Bethlehem, where Jesus was born. And camels have the ability to carry a great deal of weight. They also, surprisingly, have the ability to move quite quickly. They usually travel about 25 kilometers an hour, which is quite fast. And they can reach a speed of 40 kilometers an hour. And as we know, they can go a long time without drinking water. When they do drink water, they can drink up to 40 gallons at a time. And if you're in a caravan, lots of uh, uh, camels, and all of them are gorging themselves with water, you, you could imagine that the... Uh, oasis, the water level would go down very quickly. But camels are pretty interesting. I was told that you can tell the age of a camel by counting its teeth. So if you're ever in the market for a camel, don't trust what the camel uh, merchant says to you. If the camel merchant says that it's a young camel, open its mouth and count the teeth and make sure that the uh, camel uh, merchant uh, is being honest. I've also heard that they spit. And they chew like a cud, they regurgitate. And if you upset a camel, uh, it will spit at you. And uh, the expectorate is quite stinky. I've also been told from people that uh, camels, when they urinate, they'll urinate on their legs. And uh, this is to cool themselves. And uh, of course, <laughs> it doesn't help the smell of the camel. And uh, if you get a chance, ride a camel. And there's a, a difference, I guess, between the one-humped and the two-humped camel. And uh, I think the one-humped camel is a dromedary. But don't take that as uh, the truth. You check that out. But camels can teach us a lot. One, they're determined. They are endurance animals. Uh, they, they, we have to be determined and we have to be endurance people. Remember, life is a... Uh, marathon. It's not a sprint. Also, they're very humble. Uh, camels are, they, they go single file. They, there's uh, uh, the camel that's the leader and the other camels, they take their place. So they can remind us that when it is necessary, we need a leader and uh, the camels just all naturally. And if you try to butt up on a camel, no, no, you don't do that. And uh, also, you know, God created the camel and uh, we should give thanks to God for all of the gifts that we have. And uh, we know that the wise men, they, they came, they maybe rode donkeys, maybe camels. But the Old Testament, when they talk about the kings coming to worship the son of uh, God, the, the, the new King David, that they'll come riding camels. So the prophets told and predicted the coming of the wise men and their uh, camels. So uh, thank you, Lord, for the camel, and may we be determined, and may we be endurance animals like the camel. Amen. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Kateri Tekakwitha and Cardinal Leger pray for us. Have a, a great day on this, the Epiphany Day. Uh, Cardinal Legge. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.